Perez's only defeat was against Bryant Jennings, who we saw taking Vladimir Klitschko the distance recently. It was a split decision that he lost there, and he was outworked in the latter stages of the fight. His lack of uh, core fitness may be letting him down. Everyone knows he's a talent, but what Perez turns up, that's, the, that's always the problem. Well, as you say, Barry, if he can't get up for a fight of this magnitude, then maybe it's time to start thinking about doing something else. You would think so, wouldn't you? You know, this is, this is the biggest fight of his career. The fight has been stopped in the very first round. Sometimes... He does not look spectacular tonight. Well, he doesn't get a great deal more spectacular. <laughs> what am I talking about? That was absolutely sensational. And we were, we were talking about, it depends what Perez turned up. It didn't matter what Perez turned up. That long right hand, first of all, had Perez in trouble. And to finish him off then with that right hook, just tremendous. I think the referee should have stopped him when he first got up Perez, didn't know where he was. But what a statement that is. Beating Perez is not maybe a massive statement, knocking him out in one round, huge. Well, we, we are aware of your comments out there on social media, and I know the sort of perceived wisdom was that Perez would run out of gas and Povetkin would come home in the second half of the fight. And that's a pretty fair call. I don't think any of us expected that. No, no not at all, not at all. No, no, no one really thought that Povetkin, you know, he can punch, is a, is a really massive concussive puncher, but the technique there, the lovely long right hand from out the distance. It's that's the second shot, that is, that's the one that, that puts him gone. But the, there was a right straight right hand before that that had him in trouble. Yeah, you want to see the whole of the, the whole of the exchange there. That's what that's what finished it, but the damage had already been done. Yeah, I think I, I think the damage already done with the long right hand. No, they're not gonna show it, I don't think, Barry. Well a good shot that is though. Again, just turned around the body. They just got a little bit spun round together, actually, when they got in close. Perez don't know where he is from there on. What was the referee doing, allowing it to continue? Well, could he stood up and he haven't stumbled? I think that's what it was. But shouldn't you... The referee should have maybe got... I don't want to criticise the referee too much. Should have got Perez to walk towards him and seen he was in, in those states to continue, but... What a... Well, that's a statement. That is a statement. You know, it's Deontay Wilder, the people say he's a little bit on the chinny side. And good as he looked in his last fight, does he really take a shot? If he doesn't take a shot and he gets connected with something like that... Well, I, I, he wouldn't want to fight for that I don't think. And why would he? And if he did, if that fight goes to purse bids, <laughs> they'll get outbid. That'll be in Russia. We've seen, they've seen the power of, 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 of the financial backing they have to get Vladimir Klitschko over there. They'll get Wilder over in Russia, and if, no, he put, if he throws a punch like that, it could be good night to Wilder. Well, I don't think people can quite believe what they've just seen. We didn't get opportunity to see just what Perez could I mean, deliver in the end. He had no chance to do anything. The end comes at 1 minute 31 seconds of round number one. As referee Nassimo Barvecchio calls a halt to the contest, the winner by TKO victory, still silver belt champion for the WBC, but now the number one ranked heavyweight contender and mandatory challenger for the heavyweight championship of the world, Ruskivitez Alexander Sasha. Well, there you have it. He's now the mandatory challenger for Deontay Wilder's WBC belt. Is the big fella from America really going to want that? We will see. Time will tell. But, boy, that was spectacular.